Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Gabe C here. We are back with some more Hearthstone Arena action. And uh, today we have a few choice classes, but I think I'm going to go with Druid. Uh, kind of enjoy this class and haven't played it in a while. And before the draft, quick update on my stats. I'm at 74.55% win rate in Arena uh, across 2,224 games. And for Druid in particular... A little bit below my average, 71.15% win rate with 156 games. Okay, so we have first up a rare pick. I would say Ancient Mage is the weakest of these. Um, the spell damage is usually irrelevant and his stats are fairly weak, namely his attack. Questing Adventure can be really powerful, but you have to play it at opportune times. It's very much a support card um, or a card that requires support to get them buffed up and powerful. Uh, Bite is okay removal. It's not very good compared to something like Swipe, for example. Um, so usually I will shy away from Bite unless I desperately need removal. So I think I'll go Questing here as my first pick and hopefully be able to buff him up a bit. All right, well, it looks like we have some pretty weak cards here. Dragonhawk is terrible, no good on the stats. Doctor's also bad. Stats are no good. Battle Cry is worthless if you play it on turn one, pretty much. So I'll go Bodyguard, even though he's not very good either. Four health is very low, but uh, he should get one for one, is basically the idea. Whereas these two probably wouldn't even get that. All right. Uh, Frost Elemental is probably the weakest of these. Stats are a little bit subpar. Dark Scale Healer is pretty good. Stats are not great, but the healing is very effective. And the... 4-5 is much stronger than a 4-4, four, four, for example. But I'm going to go Frostful Forlord. Um, as long as there's one other minion out, this guy is just fine. And he can be really powerful if you play him with multiple things. All right. I think Soul of the Force is the weakest of these. It's difficult to make this card very valuable. You really need to have a pretty good presence on the board already, maybe even be in the lead. And this card gets you more ahead, but it doesn't really help you in a situation where it's pretty even or you're behind. Mechanic is not great. It's an okay four drop, but the two one dragon lean is fairly weak. On the other hand, Druid of the Claw is amazing. This is kind of an auto pick card for drafting druids. Um, it's very powerful minion. The choice between the four four charge or the four six taunt is awesome. All right, Boar is another terrible one you should never pick. Archmage is okay, but not great. Health is good, but its attack is very low for its cost. Uh, Farseer, on the other hand, is a fine 3-drop. Pretty good one, actually. Um, the healing is very effective, and you get a 3-3 minion. Abusive Sergeants, worst of these. Yeah, The battle cry is worthless on turn 1, so you have to play this as a mid to late game drop, and then you're just left with a 2-win minion, which is not very good. Hunter's okay. Total stats are appropriate for the mana cost, um, but not great. So we're going to go Venture Co., I think. Uh, can I afford the five, though? I think I can, just because this card's not good. <laughs> okay, Blitz Hell Corsair is terrible. I never draft this one. You'd always want an ooze if you're trying to remove weapons. Sunwalker is a great late-game six-drop. Very effective. Uh, usually a two-for-one card. But I think I'll go Starfall here. Uh, even though it costs 5, it's not a minion, so I'm not likely to play it on 5, but um, potential board clear or single target removal is pretty strong. Okay. Savage Roar is the weakest of these. It's kind of a cute card. Uh, it's very popular these days in Constructed, uh, where Druids are now doing their sort of normal slow style, but then busting out Savage Roar with... Uh, charge minions like Druid of the Claw to finish off the opponents. So, that said, in arenas it's difficult to pull off those combos, but it can be powerful. Um, Iron Bark is an amazing late game minion. And Power of the Wild is a really good two drop. So it's a tough pick, actually. Um... I think I have to go Iron Bark over Power of the Wild. 
As much as I have late game already, this is such a good card. It's hard to pass up. Okay, uh, so Wild Growth is terrible. I'm not a fan of this card. You basically spend an extra card to get yourself ahead one turn in the mana curve. And that's the best case scenario. If you draw this late into the game after you have 10 mana, uh, you're just cycling this out with a 2 mana penalty to draw a different card. It's not very good. Magi is okay on 4. Um, spell damage is usually not relevant, but he's a 4-4, four, four, which is not terrible. And then Innervate can be awesome early. Uh, you just need a lot of high-end stuff to be able to cast with it. That said, we do have quite a bit already. It would also work well with Questing Adventure. So I think I will go for Innervate over the Magi here. Okay, wow. Uh, some pretty bad cards here. Alar Alarmabot is very weak. It just takes too much time for the... For this guy to activate and then summon a minion that can attack. Savagery is also pretty weak. Um, it requires usually another buff card in addition to it to make use of this. So you need like a claw or a, a bite to buff your druid's attack power. Then you savagery some target on the board and then at the same time or you know uh, on the same turn then you attack with the druid's attack on another target. It's really hard to do all that. So I'm going to go Arcane Golem, even though I don't like it very much. I think it's kind of a loss for you. Uh, we can at least play this late game after the battle cry is irrelevant for four damage charge. All right, Grunt is weak. Stats are not very good. Snapped is also very weak. Attack is too low. Wrath is one of the best spells in the game in terms of efficiency and removal and uh, options. It's all very handy. So it's tough to have too many wraths. Hmm. I think uh, in this case, we've seen these two. Starfire is okay, but it costs a lot of mana for the damage that you get. So you really have to have pretty good board control already and then use this as a removal. So I think I'm going to go mechanic. Well, shit, am I? No, that seems foolish. Mechanic's not good enough. <laughs> I'm a little worried about how high-end my deck is, but um, it's kind of how druids play. All right, uh, here we see a ghoul. A decent three-drop if you trade the two-drop of your own with their two-drop, and then he's a four-three. But otherwise, somewhat subpar. Bring those Shattered Sun. She's a great three, even after her nerf. Angry Chicken is terrible. You should never draft it. Stats are too low. Seer is also bad. You can't rely on Murlocs. So we're going to go Pint Size. Not a great two drop, but similar to Innervate, it sort of pushes us into the late game, maybe, uh, faster. All right. Uh, Lord of the Arena is an okay taunt. His uh, stats are a little bit weak uh, in terms of his health, but... He's much better than the Booty, Booty Bay Bodyguard, for example, because um, four health of the Bodyguard, <coughs> excuse me, is a lot easier to kill than the five health of the Arena. In this case, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, in this case, we go Swipe. However, Swipe is really strong and pretty much an auto pick card for Druids. Oracle's terrible, Snapjaw's terrible, Bomber's good, so we'll go Bomber. Pretty simple pick there. Lepernome I'm not a fan of. I think he's pretty bad because of his one health. Geomancer is pretty weak in stats, unless you desperately need spell damage. Uh, we do have three, four spell damage spells already, but I don't think I can justify this card. So I'm going to go Starfire number two, which is very risky. All right, uh, Crocolisk is a pretty terrible two. Try to avoid it because its stats are so weak. You don't get the three attack that you normally want, and you have no spell text. So I think I go Brewmaster over the Innervate so I can get some other two drops. Okay, these are all very good. Senjin we haven't seen yet. He's a really good four drop. Um, the question is, do I go for Curve and pick him over the Druid of the Claw? Who's a better card? 
I think I have to. I think I have so many fives already that I have to go a little bit earlier and go Senjin. And he's, he's still good. Senjin's not a bad card. It's just Druid is superior. Okay. Uh, I actually think Argus is the weakest of these choices after the nerf to Argus. His attack being two is pretty significant because he can't kill very much around turn four when you're playing him on his own. And his total stats, even if you buff two things, are four or five in total for four, which is not super. And that's tough to do. Uh, Pyro is a great two drop. You can do a lot of fancy stuff if you have spells. We don't have that many spells, but we have a few. So the question is, do I go for the Sunwalker that's a better card or the Pyro for the better curve? I think Pyro. So I only have three two drops right now. Okay, uh, Frost Elemental weakest here. Silverhand is great five, but I think we go Wrath for more removal and synergy with spell stuff. Yeah. All right, Ray Leader's awful. Uh, try to avoid him because his stats are so weak and his spell text is not strong enough to justify his stats, basically. Wolf is much better than Raid Leader because typically you don't need to buff more than two minions, especially early on. So the adjacency for the Wolf is just as good as the Raid Leader. But of course, this is much uh, cheaper. One less mana, so the stats are much better, much better suited for the, the mob. However, I will go Brewmaster here. It's the second Brewmaster, but it is superior to the Wolf, I think. All right, we've seen all of these. Swipe, again, an auto-pick card pretty much, really strong. Uh, that's an interesting choice. Tidehunter's out. It's pretty terrible because both minions have one health. Stormwind Knight's pretty good. Usually he gets two for one in most cases, I find. And then Savage Roar we talked about. So I think I go Stormwind, because I only have one four drop minion right now. Wow. All right, I cannot justify another Starfire. I think you can really over overboard on this card because it costs so much mana for the damage. Um, wolf is possible. Well, I don't have that many extra minions. So I think I go Jungle Panther here, just as a three drop removal. Okay, well, Oracle again, Naturalize I really dislike. It's mostly used in Constructed, but in Arenas you very rarely face the insane minions that you would normally want to Naturalize in Constructed, which would be stuff like Ragnaros, um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> like major legendaries that you just can't get rid of otherwise as a druid. But in arenas, you just don't face those that often. And killing off any other card um, is usually a pretty significant card disadvantage for you since you give the opponent two extra cards. So I'm going to go Guardian here. He's an okay four drop. I could use another four drop minion. That's pretty much it. Uh, interesting choice here be between Ooze and Ironbark. I think I go Ironbark for the late game. Even though oozes are very strong. I have one, two, three, four, five, two drops, plus two wraths. That's plenty, I think. Uh, so I could go Mark of the Wild here, or Bomber number two. It's possible to have too many Bombers. Although they're more more efficient early game than they are any other time. Um, Mark of the Wild could, could be good with Questing Adventure. I don't have that many other cards to buff, though, that I really need it. Yeah, I guess I'll go Bomber. That's a tough call. All right, uh, terrible cards and Cult Master is great. Pretty much any deck should always draft the first one almost every time you can. I'll do that here. And last pick, very bad cards. Mana Wraith is the least bad, so I'll go with him. It, whatever. 
All right. Well, this deck is not terrible. Um, I'd say above average, or maybe average. Eh, it could be above. I have good board clear, two swipes and a starfall. I have good removal, two starfires and two wraths, two bombers, a pyro. Um, I'm missing a bit of the mid-game strength that you usually look for in your minions. So yetis, dark iron dwarves, stuff like that. I do have one shattered sun. Fives are pretty good though, and late game minions are strong. So I think the big concern is overloading my hand with too many spells I'm unable to use efficiently, namely starfires. Um, but overall, the goal will basically to try to push into the late game as sort of a control deck. I have a number of ways to clear the board and then try to rely on my 8-8 big guys at the end to carry me for the win. Which means I'll be countered pretty heavily by hard removals. So shamans, mages will be tough. Okay, first game against a warlock. So we have to mulligan pretty heavily for two drops. Three drop is not really useful because it will give our opponent a big advantage in mana curve. So I shouldn't even keep that one. All right, well, there's a two. So we're more likely to draw into a three uh, in the next two turns, basically. So hopefully he plays a weak one drop for Bomber. Yeah, he's thinking about it. No, he's coining. That's too bad. Oh, that's pretty good. Although, I would have to bomber this in order for my bomber not to die. So I think the best play is actually just to wait and just hit that. Because if Bomber misses that 2-1, then it's still a 1-for-1. One one. And worst case is the Bomber hits me or the opponent's hero three times, misses those completely. Then I'm sort of screwed. Alright, so since he only has one damage out, I will Bomber here. Hope to kill that. Good. Oh, Bomber, look at you. Alright, so we're one card up. Well, not really. He life tapped it back. It's really strong. Okay, it looks like I wrath hero power since I don't have any other play. Pretty efficient uh, for him. It's a one-for-one one card, but it took four mana for me to get rid of his three mana Harvest Golem. The good news is I have quite a bit now that I can play at five. Probably drew the claw, unless there's no threat. So I will drew the claw in charge mode against that. Because the only other way to take it out would be to attack with this in hero power. Um, and then I don't have anything else to do with my mana, really. So usually playing the Druid of the Claw as a charge mode is weak compared to the taunt, but we are we got a one card advantage already, so. Succubus, that's a interesting card choice. Hmm. Uh, let's see. So 
So I can wrath that, send that into that. I can't do anything else with my mana. Alternatively, this goes into there, this goes into there. There, Frostwolf. Yeah, I think Frostwolf is probably better here. It will um, trigger a Siphon Soul pretty much if he has one here on six. Pretty good. So Infernal gets an extra. So Starfire is one damage short of that, which is unfortunate. Um. I think I take the risk of the bodyguard. If the bodyguard dies to that, and this is at one, I can hero power it or just wrath it for one. And that saves me. And I basically do six more damage to his face, which is pretty significant with his health level. Actually, also can do Starfire damage to his face as well. So, he's at lethal if this doesn't die. Oh good, he he did clear my line, which is good. Hmm... I could just starfire his face and hit him and then do it again the next turn. But if he heals, it doesn't work. What to do? Uh, this is okay next turn because it has two. So I think I'll just protect her. Basically, see if he has siphon. I imagine he will siphon here if he does have it, though. Oh my god, <laughs> that's really efficient. <laughs> Alright, well, Starfall. Looks like it's about to happen. Yep. So I want to hero power to that first before I Starfall because this will enrage and I want to take two damage instead of five. So that's five, six, seven. Can't really do anything else, unfortunately. But still, it's three for one. Well, not really. Since this already got a kill on that, got a kill. But I'd probably just start star firing his face now, since he's so low. Likely Starfire Wrath. It's cute. So Starfire. Yeah, that's fine. Almost useful. It's another finisher. Um, what to do? I think I'll use this guy as a very minor delay. But Got 
be pretty difficult for him to come back. That looks like nope. Pretty close too, because Hogger's crazy. Like swipe would have been really strong against that one. But no luck. Didn't matter though. 